Okay. You, you helped them. <laughs> These did not get away. Yeah. Okay, what are they? Huh? What are they? Are they tacos? Th this is a papu and a papu, and it's a lie, leatherback. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. Yeah. And is but, it? Uh, yeah, these were very cooperative. Very this is like that talking fish you yeah. on the wall. Yeah. What does it say? Uh -huh. What it does says, it say? Come back for more. Ha ha ha. Okay. A fish tail. And, um, and then we cut the scuts off of these fish. What's that called? Scuts. S C U T S, I think. Uh, and S U S C U T S, yes, scuts. Because you can't eat that, okay? Hmm. Clean it up. And we gotta get inside the gill. gills, intestines. Uh, the stomach is here, but there's nothing in it. I don't feel anything. Otherwise, I would inspect it. Okay, now we have to wash the inside of the fish. And uh, uh, along here is the, the kidneys, and I, or, the, or the blood portion. And in order you clean that portion, then it, it gets rid of some of the distasteful portion of the fish. Makes it better for eating. It's kind of bitter. Kind of fish. This is a leatherback, which I don't. <coughs> Ouch. It kind of looks like a. Uh, what, is this, uh, what do they call this? Samna? I don't know, but. You know, it's like a um, mackerel. Almost. But you see, the skin is extremely silvery. And what I'm trying to do is make it so that I can I can preserve the skin for fish lure. Fish lure. Yep. How do you do that? I'm about to do it right now. There. See the skin. Hmm. And then watch out. Yeah. And then you see the excess meat here. Watch your fingers. Hmm. You're scraping away all the excess meat. Yeah, because I'm going to preserve this. It. I'm going to preserve this. But you see, the very leathery skin, hence leatherback. And you see how silvery this skin is. Eventually, what you can do is cut them into slivers, and then use them for for fish lures. To they they imitate little baby fish. And that's that's it. So would you catch more of the same kind of fish, or which? a different kind of fish with the skin of this leatherback? Oh yes, we sometimes you can catch these guys. Oh. Uh, uh, what did you use to catch those guys? Secret lure. A secret lure. No, it's, it's a yozuri. Uh huh. Yozuri uh, plug. And so, um, <clears throat> does it? Do you have to dry it? I have to salt it, but that basically that tells you how we're going to treat the rest of the fish. Okay. So tell me something about your uh, fishing experience, uh, Victor. Oh, I don't know. What, what is it to tell? I, uh, what, how does it compare well, with you? Uh, Clyde uh, actually, uh, he, you know, he, he had a few hits on his. So he says, come here, come here. And he says, he says, let me have your, your pole. I said, what do you mean? He says, no, he, he trade poles with me. He says, use mine. He says that. Uh, He's the most congenial host you can have. Yeah, right. 
and uh, he, he uh, put a, a similar type of lure on my pole that he was using on his. And, uh, you know, I was using his pole for a while, and I asked if we could just trade so he could maybe catch some more fish. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, he was keeping an eye on me. He kept telling me, keep going, keep walking further down. Maybe the fish around here might he's, not be around because they're scared the, away. He's the supreme guide. He knows his fishing ground like the back of his hand. Mm. And this bag came in handy. What do you have in there? The light. It's oh, light. It got yes. dark when we left there. Oh, that's what you had for a Ziploc for. Keep, keep it, you know, waterproof. Uh-huh. So how was, how high was the water when you folks went out to oh, cast? Oh, it was only about here. Five feet high and rising, as the song says. Five feet high and rising? Yeah. Well, actually, the, I think the deepest when we were tacoing was about, about here. Uh huh. It about. So it's very shallow tonight. Well, yeah, we stayed on the reef. So, purposely so, because you want the shallow water to uh -huh. be able to see if you get taco or not. Uh -huh. There are a lot of people out there at the beach today. Yeah. So. So this yeah, rounds they, it all they, out. They might have scared the fish away. They might have scared, oh, they weren't fishing. Or they were fishing. Friday, so, you know, people were at the beach. And uh -huh. uh, there were some uh, uh, the divers, and divers in the water. Oh. Okay, good. So we now have a um, fishing tale to tell. Is it fishing one, is it Papillo 101? Or should we downgrade it to fishing 100? Well, for me, 100 still. <laughs> I'm remedial. Uh, but did you have fun? Oh, yeah. Lots I had a lot of fun. Good. Oh, uh, they took it on. Crab pincher. Yeah, two of them. That's all that's left of the crab. Came and out you of found the, it in the stomach. The stomach, uh -huh. right in here. And you want to know that kind of thing because. It gives you an idea of what the fish should be eating. Uh huh. Mm. You have to know the opposition. It's like a. Uh, uh, So you're going to eat that papilla? You're going to eat it. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>